thank you to patrons and everyone who came to the live stream. That was a lot of fun. Um, weirdly nerve wracking, <laughs> but you know, that's what we get to do to see everybody. Here she is. Okay, Lindsay's on her way. We're going to go into this space. Hello. Founder. I was in the den of iniquity all along. <laughs> yeah, we just finished the live. And so uh, Lindsay and I will go talk about something that we missed on the live, which is how many animals we have. Cause we already established what Good you job. have. Is there anything on the live that you didn't finish saying or wanted to say that we'll just tell patrons now? I think I said everything in that. <laughs> I said all the words. Good. A lot of good words, though. Well, thank you. Sarai has nothing for you, patrons. Got nothing. <laughs> Not today. She Sarai gave it all away. Boundaries. Left it all in the field. They were there. But I love you, and I see you, and I. And thank you, everyone, yes. for joining. Yes. Okay. Right. Me and Lindsay now. We realize I'm alive that we talked to you all about how many animals Sarai has. Right. We didn't ever actually answer the question. Sarai has 13 cats. 13 cats. Cannon. Babies. Um, um, if you would like one, if you live within the Oregon area, please. If you know someone who I'll send you pictures. Key, you, we will post pictures of these we'll cats on our pictures. Patreon. They're adorable. Okay. Um, we just ask that you name so this is... biblical names if you take them. <laughs> we need a lot of Esau's, <laughs> Methuselah's. Jezebel's, obviously. <laughs> This right does have a cat named Jezebel or half named Jezebel. So Meg has she one is. bunny. This is the bunny. This is Phoenix. I have one bunny. You have three bunnies. Three bunnies. Okay. So Lindsay outdoes me. Three to one. In on the bunnies. bunnies. Okay. Lindsay wins bunnies. We're going to head to head in categories. Okay. Cats. <clears throat> Currently have... at this place where I reside, two cats. Two. Yeah. Two pretty noobs. Yeah. Pretty newbies. But dogs. No dogs. Meg has zero dogs. I have and zero. Two dogs. And they're not small dogs. No. Yeah. They're big dogs. Okay, and chickens. I have five chickens. And I have two full laying hens and five baby chicks that are about five weeks and six weeks old. So seven chickens we are urban farm ladies we are the this staff. is barely homesteading y'all if i haven't talked about it yet on the podcast my apologies but we're not trad wives no don't get it twisted look don't get it twisted this no is barely trad wives here barely homesteading okay <laughs> coming up next week we are gonna have our fourth installment of the ywam series this one is all listener stories so these are ones that y'all have submitted to us and we just wanted to give voice to what your experiences were too, to let everybody know that we are not alone in these experiences. Um, so if you're an ex-YWAMer, if you know an ex-YWAMer, um, please come and have this conversation with us. Um, it's really important that people hear our stories. Um, so we're just gonna keep talking about it. And then after that um, is our Queer stories. Uh, Sarai, Lindsay, and I sit down and have a super intimate conversation together about our queerness, how we found it out, figured it out, knew it, how long we've known it, um, and kind of like where we're at. So, <clears throat> Hobbs came to join me. So, um, if you're a late in lifer, for whatever reason, um, you know, maybe, maybe come and hear our stories and, um, yeah, you won't feel quite alone. <laughs> I'm certainly not. <laughs>